Contest over six rounds. You're watching us live on Max Television from the Bukom Boxing Arena. Officials for this bout: Clement Ashon is Judge One, Mimesa Kako is Judge Two, and Nathaniel Oben is Judge Number Three. Now, introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner, and this is a boxer with a weight of 165 pounds. And this evening is spotted in the blue and white trunks with black shoe and blue gloves to match. From the Charles Corte Boxing Foundation, presenting to you a boxer who is making his debut today. Ahmed Mohammed! Switching over to the right corner. And this is another boxer making his debut today. With the weight of 166 pounds from the first square boxing gymnasium under the tutelage of Coach Latteque Latte. Presenting to you the man, Evi Ahoga. And the referee for this bout is Rasmus O. Introduction of the boxers uh, over. They will go through the last minute instructions with uh, referee Erasmus Owu. And then uh, any moment from now, we will start this bout. Elvis Ahoga taking on Hamed Mohamed. Elvis Ahoga is representing the fifth square. Whilst from the Charles Quarty Boxing Foundation comes Hamed Mohamed. Round! Super middleweight contest. This is scheduled for six rounds that's the first punch and it's a very big one from uh, Elvis Ahoga the chap in the all black trunks and uh, Hamed is in the uh, the purple and white it's the first time of asking for Elvis his first professional bout 
and let's see how he will endear himself to the fans here. Nice body shots. Tries to land one to the head of uh, Hamed. Seems to have some very solid punches, uh, Elvis Ahoga. Ahmed at the receiving end at this stage. It's just the first round. Ahmed throws a wild one. Elvis coming forward. And then he misses with a wild punch. It's virtually a give and receive at this stage. Ahmed comes in. Tries to get to the body and then one to the head. Good block by Elvis. Big one to the body. And then a big one to the head of Ahmed. Another one to the head. Puts him in the corner, Elvis. Dishing a couple of blows to the head and the body of Ahmed. Ahmed comes out and skates. Elvis timing his blows nicely. Some big shots to the body of Hamed. Missing that closely. Missing again, but this time to the head. Another one through the guard. Hamed tries to respond. He receives one to the head. And Elvis is in definite control of the super middleweight encounter. Wild throw by Hamed. Another wild one. Couple of wild misses there. Honorable Ni Elante Van der Poel. I'm sure a lot of memories are running through his head. Ghana has produced some very good super uh, middleweights once upon a time. Good shot to the body. Hamed at the receiving end once again. And then through the guard, Elvis pins him to the corner. Gets a couple of body shots on him. Referee watching closely. The fans, they love this. And then a big one to Hamed. Now puts him in his own corner. Tries to finish the bout there. Bell goes. Saved by the bell. Hamid has really received some punishment. Well, well I thought we see some explosive bout, but this one, extremely special. I mean, we've not seen a boxer come out straight from the, the bell and he's, he's throwing big punches. And Elvis here has shown that he has a big punch. He's connected very well. You love his left foot hooks. And then he, he gets the opening with a jab. And then he goes for the power punches. Yeah, he's going for the body punches. He's going for those straight hooks. And he's been landing excellently well. For Hamed. Well, I, I think he has a good chin. Other than that, he should be visiting the canvas with such an explosive you know, power punches from Elvis. There, you see Elvis going for the body shot. He's been tremendous here in the first round. Lovely ball. There. Just look at the combination. Look at his movement. I mean, he knows he has the power punch, Elvis, and he gets that those power punches straight into the face, straight into the body. Second out. Tirelessly. Round. Great, Ooh. great, great move. Great bout that we've seen here. So we'll continue with the action and the fun. This is round two. It's a super middleweight contest scheduled for six, and in the black trunks. Is Elvis Ahoga representing the Fit Square Boxing Club? Hamed Mohammed did take some punishment in the first round, but still on his feet. And it looks like Elvis is continuing from where he left off in the first round. Hamed tries to penetrate the guard. Now he's at the receiving end. Hamed is still on his feet. So Hamed tries to get back into the uh, competition with a few punches. He's missing quite a couple. Some wild punches there. Missed narrowly. And then it's uh, Elvis who takes over now. Couldn't penetrate that guard of uh, Hamed. Still putting the pressure on. Times a few of his shots and misses Elvis.
he definitely will need some time to perfect the uh, the shots Elvis this is just his first professional fight and uh, not too sure but it looks like Hamid seems to be uh, bleeding uh, from the nose he's taking quite a few shots to the head and then lands a big one Elvis still keeping the pressure. Lands a big one to the head. And then another one. Ahmed still on his feet. Good recovery by the boxer. From the Charles Quarte Boxing Foundation. Saved by the ropes. Ahmed still survives. Elvis Ahoga now pins him to the ropes. Couple of uh, punches, not trying, not penetrating the guard really. Mohammed will come forward again. Wild throw there, and then another wild one. Mohammed still on his feet. Mohammed throws in a few punches of his own. He's taking a bashing on the head. Seems to be bleeding from the nose. Into the last seconds. Well, there it is. Another brilliant display from Elvis Ahoga. I mean, he knows when to, to use the jab and when to go for the power punch. He's been doing that excellently well. And that's how come a man is bleeding from the nose. He's been taking some hefty punches. But what I've seen is that Ahmed knows how to put a rear guard on his face. He's blocking many of the, the, the straight punches from Elvis. But what Elvis has been able to do is to get him the combination. And this time around, Elvis sometimes wants to go for the body shot just to weaken the guard of Ahmed. He's not been able to, to get it done, but he's, he's been getting some excellent shot, straight power punch into the face of Ahmed. And it has been a dominant performance from Elvis um, Ahoga, who comes from the Western region. It's getting hotter, it's getting more exciting. You need not leave your TV sets, not even for a second. It's round three of this super middleweight contest. It's scheduled for six. Elvis Ahoga in black. This time Hamed opens up nicely. Tries to land a big one, but he misses. And Elvis once again has a go on the head and the body. Working on the body now, Elvis. Wonderful body shots from Elvis Ahoga. And uh, Hamed is still bleeding from the nose. And he's landing a couple of some quality punches there as well. Will that be enough to keep Elvis Ahoga at bay? Hamed, obviously, a very sturdy boxer. And most fans are of the opinion that he could have gone down on uh, his feet. He could have hit the canvas. Now pinned Elvis. Elvis takes over now. Couple of shots to the body and to the head. Working on the body now, Elvis. Hamed throws a big one but misses. And rather walks into a soft... A uh, punch from Elvis. Good display by Elvis, especially in the first two rounds. And both boxers obviously tired. Hamed lands one to the head of uh, Elvis. And receives the applause, he lands the second one. It looks like Elvis is now on the receiving end. But responds with a few punches of his own.
And the boxing pundits here love what they see. Hamid has done very well. Misses with a wild punch. And Elvis goes to the body once again. Another wild miss by both boxers. Both boxers obviously tired. Ducking out of that punch, Elvis. And then one to the head of Hamid. Still on his feet. An uppercut, wild miss. And referee Erasmus O will come in and uh, save the day, telling them exactly what to do. Missed by Hamid. Elvis goes in, times his punch very well. And this is how the round would end. Yo, tell us, sing the song for the one you love. What we have witnessed is two boxes two to the one to give up. It's been exciting, it's been pretty good. We love the energy from these two boxes. Now, one thing that we've seen here, and I'm sure Elvis Aoka will be asking himself, what can I do more to get Ahmed on the canvas? Ahmed has been taking some very solid big punches, but he's still standing on his feet, he's taking the punches. And he's very, very resilient. He's coming back, throwing some, you know, smart jabs and smart punches straight to Elvis. And he has been an explosive bout. There, you see, Ahmed bleeding from the nose from those power punches from Elvis. But he's still taking the punches. He's still coming back with his... I mean, he's been, he's been really a warrior in the ring, Ahmed. Because I'm just, I'm just looking at, you know, the replay. And it, and it seems Elvis has been landing some hectic big punches. But yes, has to Ahmed still standing okay. and Out. throwing some counter punches. Round four. It's been an interesting three rounds of boxing for these debutant boxers. They're giving in everything they have and everything they've got. Temporary uh, break for now. I say Ahmed would have to get his guard mouth uh, piece refixed and then we can continue super middleweight encounter scheduled for six rounds wild miss there from uh, elvis ahmed has his guard up tries well to prevent the punches from going through but that one landed nicely The, the corner and the cut man has been working on the bleeding nose of uh, Hamid. But anytime he comes back, it continues. Now, he is dishing out some punches. Elvis is under pressure. Oh, that's a wild one to Hamid. Receive that straight in the face. Elvis takes, he receives. And the referee would separate the two boxes. That's a big one. He saved by the ring, nearly went down. Hamed is very lucky to be on his feet. Saved by the ropes. And then a big one again goes to the ropes. And then now Elvis wants to finish up the fight now the resilience of Hamed obviously keeping him on his toes receives one to the head Elvis receives a punch to the head as well Hamed trying to work through the guard and Elvis ducks nicely at the right time it's been very exciting this bout it's a give and receive affair from two boxers who are mounting the ring for the very first time. Hamid seems dazed. Lands a big one and then Elvis sends a response. Goes through the guard a few times. But Hamid is still on his feet. The fans are getting behind them.
Oh, one way traffic now. Elvis is throwing everything at Hamed. Hamed quickly retaliates with one. Watching this fight closely is the uh, former chairman of the GBA, Mr. Peter Zuenis, loving every bit of it. End of the round. What a brave man, Hamid Mohamed has. He's been very brave, taking some big punches. He's still standing on his toes. He's still throwing some counter punches. And that's very, very amazing. But for Elvis Aoga, he's been the pretty the much dominant force throughout the round. He's been showing his power. He's been showing how good he is, you know, with those hooks there. And that wonderful hook again. And, and straight back into the face of Amir. This is what we've seen throughout the whole round. Dominant performance from Elvis. But I'm still thinking, we will be asking questions, what more can I do to get Amir on the canvas? He's been going for the body shot. He's been going for the straight power punches. Still, Amir seems to be on his feet. And this is... Brilliant boxing at his best. Second out. Round five. Round five it is. Bell has gone. The seconds are taking a while before they leave the ring. But finally, they do so. And Erasmus O, I'm sure, is going to issue a warning to the seconds. Taking too long in the ring. So referee Rasmus O calls them into action. And the pendulum is going to swing to and fro as usual. Elvis does very well to land the big one. And again, Hamed uses the ropes as his escape plan. Preventing himself from falling down. Now tries to work through the guard of Elvis. Elvis now using uh, Hamed as a punching bag a few times. But Hamed almost always bounces back. This time he walks into a big punch. It's a big punch now. Hamed at the receiving end. He looks wobbly on his feet. But strong as he is. He's not down, not just yet. Two quick shots, those were three shots to the head. And Elvis chasing, trying to work on Ahmed now. Ahmed at the receiving end. Referee will separate them, but then they will have a go at it again. Big punches by Elvis. This time the guard of uh, Ahmed goes up. Stern warning to uh, Elvis for that low blow. And Hamid is still on his feet. A big miss by Hamid. Elvis trying to work on the body now. Hamid gets out of the way. The uppercut misses twice from uh, Elvis. Ahmed goes in for a big one but misses. Still, legs look wobbly. That's uh, Hamed Mohamed. Elvis came into the ring one pound more than uh, Hamed at 166. <laughs> Hamed times a big one, but uh, Elvis threw a hand and he got in the way. And the round ends. So this bout 
is definitely scheduled for all six rounds. Yeah, Mohammed. Mohammed is still taking some punishment in the ring. And of course, we've seen it over and over throughout the, the whole rounds. It's been a dominant performance from Elvis Algade. Straight punch into the face of Hamed again. But one thing that I've seen from Elvis Alga is that anytime he goes for a combination punch, he goes for a power punch, he cannot follow up with those power punches, two, three power punches. And I'm sure he needs to work on that. He's lacking a little bit much more energy. He needs to be a little more quick with his punches. He needs to you know, release those power punches, but come on, he's been landing some big punches. How on earth is Hamed Mohammed still standing on his feet? I don't know, but he seems to be a brave heart. He seems to have a very good chain, and that is what is making him survive all the rounds. Take it out! Round! Six and the final round. So here we go, the two boxers touch gloves. They have three minutes to endear themselves to the crowd. Hamed seems to have a very good following and they keep urging him on. Elvis starts with the big body shots once again. Puts Hamed in the corner. Now working on the head, works on the body as well. Erasmus oh, steps in and Hamed has been saved from further punishment. Amazing, amazing performance from Elvis Aoga. I mean, this time around, I told you about, you know, adding up with the punches. I mean, you go for one power punch, you need to throw more, you need to get more combination of the power punches. And that's exactly what he has done to end this bout. At the point in time, we're all wondering what else he's going to do to end the bout, but just look at those moves. Brilliant, brilliant display here. Good boxer, one for the future. One thing he needs to work on is his energy and his movement. He needs to also, you know, have the act of guarding his face. At the point in time, he leaves his face wide open for punches to come at him. But just look at those ferocious punches. Just look at the power punches. Look at his face, very determined. Just one straight point. Big one. Big punches. And he's doubling up with those punches. And here. Yeah, a man has no option than to give up here. And he's throwing about 10 yeah, well, combination well, of power well, punches well, just to end the bat. Amazing. Mohamed Amin Lamte will now give us the when scorecard. Everybody thought the fight was going through the distance, but it ended prematurely in round number six. So, once again, we want to thank you very much for being part of the Ghana Professional Boxing League. This is night number two, and we've just saw the super middleweight contest over six rounds between Elvis Ahoga and Ahmed Mohammed. It ended prematurely. And now we have the verdict. Before the verdict, before the verdict, shall we please put our hands together once again for the two boxes? So we now have the verdicts in round number six in 28 seconds by a technical knockout a boxer who is making his debut from one of the most interesting gymnasium in greater crowd let's welcome and appreciate Avis Ahoga Avis va, 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 va. congratulations thank you uh, are you from the water region yeah, it's 50-50. 50-50, but you can speak some ever small, right? You can't speak ever. Now, now, you can speak three. Now, Elvis, tell us, this is your first time of your professional fight, but your opponent gave you a run for your money. Yes. It was not easy. Was it not easy? Yeah. So how did you end it in round six? I prepared because once a soldier, always a soldier. A soldier? My father is a soldier. My uncle is a soldier. My grandfather was a soldier. My brother is a soldier. Hey, so you you behave like a soldier? Yeah, because I was a barrack boy. That's it. So the uh, the army officers watching us tonight, 
He has represented you and is living up to the billing. Congratulations. Thank you.